So I was thinking the other day, as I'm finishing my breakfast, and I'm down to my last bites of, uh, my last two bites of pancake and bacon, which one should I eat last? Huh. Well, if you guys want to find out, hang out to the end and I'll let you guys know. Hi everyone. Welcome to the Gizmo Breaker Gaming Channel. My name's Oscar and I'll be your Gizmo Breaker today. And the screen behind me just turned off. All right. Today we're gonna to be breaking the two PC stream setup. Now typically there's two ways to run a two PC stream setup. Lucky number two today. Um, or two, not four, two. And so the first method is using uh, capture cards, which is great, but if you don't have the money for it, well, you can't do it. So there's another option that's absolutely free. Yeah, it's free, um, which uses the OBS software and the NDI plugin. And I'm not gonna go through the installation of the NDI, of the software or the NDI plugin. Um, that, there's lots of videos for that. What I wanna cover today is the NDI, using the NDI plugin uh, to stream when you can't plug both PCs directly into a router or a switch. And to accomplish this, um, the way I have it set up that works great um, is I have one PC plugged directly into the other and I have the gaming PC uh, using Wi-Fi to game and I have the streaming PC using the uh, Wi-Fi to stream. The only wired connection is going from the gaming PC to the streaming PC and it's a direct connection ethernet to ethernet port on each computer you guys don't need an extra port the reason i have it set up that way is because i can't have it run from i can't run a cable from where the router is all the way over to my room because it's just too far and i can't make holes in the wall where i live and it works great if you guys want to check out how the, you know the quality of it um check out my stream uh it's uh twitch.tv forward slash gizmo breaker um, check me out, stop by, say hi. If you guys have trouble and need help troubleshooting, uh, you guys can leave uh, your questions in the comments below. Um, I'll do my best to get back to you guys. Or you guys can drop in my stream uh, anytime. I usually stream Fridays and Saturdays, uh, Friday nights and Saturdays morning and afternoon. Yeah, I've gotten this to work every time. Uh, the only drawback of this is that it takes like about three to five minutes to get it up and running. Um, just because you have to do like a little on and off switching. And uh, I'll get into that as part of the troubleshooting, uh, list of troubleshooting issues you can uh, address. Um, but once you get up and running, it's it's smooth and it's rock solid. It's not gonna disconnect. First, I'll go through all the steps and then I'll do troubleshooting, which will be at this time right here. All right, so here we have our gaming PC. So if we go down here, you guys will see we have this ethernet cable right here sorry about the bumps ethernet cable plugged in here goes down around there and goes over here so that's gaming computer that's the streaming computer and in case if, if you guys are curious this is the purple pie man uh, you can see the full specs on build.gg I'll leave a link in the comments below. All right, so here we are on the gaming PC and we have our OBS software installed, as you can see. So here we'll go up to tools, uh, NDI output, and make sure this is checked. Okay, click OK. Now at this point, um, you've already set your settings um, over here in settings. So now that we have everything set up and ready to go, this is what should be coming out on my other computer. Okay, so we have our OBS installed and the NDI plugin installed. So once you have your scene set up, your sources and everything's good to go, uh, we're gonna have to do a few things before we can um, stream the this uh, signal to the streaming computer. And it's a one-time one -time setup, uh, but you will have to go back in there to get this up and running every time. Uh, so we'll go to open network and uh, sharing. Okay, and then down we go to Network and Sharing Center. And here we wanna to go to Change Adapter Settings. So we have our Ethernet connection, says Unidentified Network. This one says Wi-Fi, this is my Wi-Fi connection. 
So on the Wi-Fi connection, you want to go into properties. And this is very important that you go to sharing and allow network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. Click OK. And we're, we should be done here. So now we go over to the streaming computer. And here we have to do a few things. Okay, so here we're going to go to the same area. Okay. Um, Network and Sharing Center and change adapter settings. Now here we have to do a few things. We got to go into the Ethernet, go to Properties, select uh, Internet Protocol version 4, go to Properties, Advanced, uncheck the Auto Metric and click 2. Click OK, click OK, close. And for the Wi Fi, even though it's not open, we can go into Properties. Again, the same Internet Protocol version 4. Uh, properties again, advanced, automatic, uncheck the automatic metric and set it to one. What this is going to do is it's going to let you uh, let your computer know to prioritize the Wi-Fi for for internet. And if you notice now, uh, it says network two instead of unidentified network. And the reason it does that is because on this gaming computer, um, I have the Wi-Fi sh uh, as a shared connection. So once we do this, we, we still leave the Wi-Fi off for now. Uh, we can close all this. And now we can go into our OBS software. And we should be receiving a signal now. So I'm going to restart OBS on the gaming PC. And there we go. Once you have that all set up, just restart OBS on your gaming PC and you're good to go. Um, and now that we have the signal, we're receiving the signal. This is uh, going through Ethernet. Um, here we can now uh, enable the Wi-Fi, connect to our Wi-Fi here. One quick note though, uh, the way I have it set up to alleviate congestion on my Wi-Fi network, um, I'm on the streaming PC I'm using the 2.4 gigahertz because it's a longer range. And this, the streaming PC is just out of range of the um, of the 5G uh, of this 5G uh, wireless connection. So, but my gaming PC is on the 5G. So, I think that helps alleviate any congestion on the Wi-Fi for streaming and gaming. So, if you guys have that ability, I would suggest that as well. So now we've enabled the Wi-Fi, so we should be good to go. Um, if you guys want to make sure, you guys can open up Task Manager and double check on the performance here. We'll go down to Ethernet connection. We see uh, we're receiving 160 plus megabits per second, uh, which is exactly what we want to receive because uh, it's showing that it's using the wired connection to send the video signal to the streaming PC from the gaming PC. And our Wi-Fi is being used for whatever. Um, here, now now that, you know, if you have, if you're using um, stream elements, you can just, you know, refresh and you'll have this um, set up. So, see, so if you guys want to, that's like my second camera over here too. And you're ready to go. Uh, if you guys want to, want me to show you guys here. We'll go here and go to Twitch real quick. All right, give it a second to load. And there we go, I'm streaming, ha. See, and it looks pretty, pretty clean. Well, I mean, can't really tell from here, but check out some of my streams. Um, they looks, they looks really good. Uh, I'm surprised at how good it looks. Really important, you have to have the NDI plugin installed on both this, the gaming and the streaming computers. Gaming computer to send the signal over Ethernet to the um, streaming computer, uh, and then on the streaming computer so you can receive it and broadcast it. And um, that concludes this tutorial. So troubleshooting if you guys have issues connecting or having the the video signals be, be sent from your gaming computer to your streaming PC um, what you want to make sure is that there's no little yellow triangle for this guy on the on the Ethernet connection the way to resolve this almost every time and something that you have to do almost every time you start to stream which is the reason it takes about three to five minutes to set up is you have to go into here, Network and Sharing Center, and then Change Adapter Settings. Um, and then in your Wi-Fi, you have to go to Properties, 
and just sh it, if it's not sending the signal you can uncheck this click OK it'll take a second and then just go back in there and check the box click OK and then it'll it'll start working like you see right now because I because I unchecked that it stopped working here see I'm, I'm wailing my hand and you can't see it we'll turn this back off and then on the streaming computer we'll go ahead and close the OBS and reopen it and we'll have to close it oh there we go we didn't have to close that we just had to close the the OBS on the um, gaming PC and again don't forget you have to turn this uh, you have to turn uh, your Wi-Fi back on and just connect to the Wi-Fi and you're ready to stream and that's it that'll solve 99 percent of your problems if you have any um, signal issues going from the gaming PC to the streaming PC so one more tip if you guys are having trouble getting the signal from the gaming PC to the streaming PC um, you did everything else and the, the video signal still isn't showing up um, just go into your whatever antivirus software you have, go into the firewall settings, and just make sure that the wired connection is set to private network instead of public network. Um, I found that this has prevented the signal from being sent and received to the um, uh, streaming computer. And so just make sure that this setting is uh, set to private on both the gaming and streaming PCs. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Um, subscribe if you guys want to see more of these uh, troubleshooting issues or, or obscure tech setups uh, and I'll be happy to help or if you guys have any ideas something you guys want to see let me know uh, till next time see you guys around and if you guys are still here and are curious which was my last bite pancake or bacon bacon come on man bacon all the way okay. uh, that was my wife she said pancake <laughs>